to install a magnet wire into a Wheeland connector. So there are a few steps to do. This one has been prepped and ready to go. We're going to start with this one. We're going to grab our cutters and we're going to take our cutters and gently score, and I quickly did this for the brevity of this video, and score it ever so slightly the outer orange insulation. And then I'm going to twist that insulation until it gently comes free, and then I'm going to pull back. Now I'm going to look to make sure my score was good, and you can just barely see that I have scored past where this aluminum foil is, but I have not marked inside of the wires. I'm going to pull this aluminum sheathing off, and I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to inspect again the wires, making sure that the three wires, the black, the white, and the yellow, are all straight. I don't notice any scoring. I'm going to take my cutters again and cut this white stripping cable off of the device, off of my cable. So I'm going to push this out of the way, and these strippers have seen better days, so we may get successful, we may not, that's fine. Then what I'm going to do is take the two and put them side by side first. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist I'm going to twist this together and I'll need that back so I'm cutting a video. Oh, I'll start the roll for you, how about that? And twist and then gently wrap around the insulation of both of the cables. Then, thank you Chris, we're going to take our electrical tape and we're going to gently take and wrap right where we wrapped around. Now electrical tape actually has to be under some tension. Not much, but just enough for it to ply. So about two wraps is all you need. Once you get that, you can quickly tear it and it should be a nice straight. If you use a more of the vinyl type, it'll start to stretch, and if that's the case, you can use your cutters to get a nice cut with it. And now I have the start of my connector. Now, I'm gonna to wanna to try to match the plus wire of our back net, which will be the black, the white wire, which will be the negative, and then the yellow wire, which will be my signal or reference. So typically, we're going to want to match these. Then after that, what we're going to attempt, and this is kind of personal preference, I like to match my wires first. Some folks like to balance them and snip them. Then taking our strippers, we're going to unlock it, and we're going to find the right gauge. So this is typically a 18-gauge cable. And we're going to take no more than a quarter inch to three eighths inch of the wire and strip it back. And we want the insulation to be more or less at the same height. And that's close. It's not perfect, but it's close enough for what we need to do. Then we're going to strip the second one. And again, I've already done the most of the heavy lifting before the start of this video, so we're only going to do half of, the, half of them. And then finally, I'm going to finish up for the last one right here. So there's my three connectors. Now a lot of folks, especially in the electrical industry, will like to twist the wires together. And that's some good and some bad. And we don't twist our wires when we do our connector into the Wheeland. So we're going to take our negative, which will be the white wire, and I'm going to push that in first. And what I'm going to do is push in and I'm going to verify that the, the white insulation in this particular case is not in and touching the metal terminal and it's not too far where the wire is exposed. And I tend to do the center one first, and the only reason I do the center one first is it allows me to kind of balance out between the outer two connections, and again, personal preference. Now on, the, on a back net, you have a ground connection. That will also be known as our reference, so that has got to be our yellow wire. So I'm going to put the yellow wire in right here, and terminate that way. And then finally, we're going to do the black wire, which will be the plus. So we want to be consistent in what we do. And finally, we'll do the last two. I'll wrap them around, push them in. And if you push in and you notice that one of the terminal wires going into the terminal is pulled back or you get one strand that doesn't quite go in, you must make sure that they go in properly. You do not want to leave a finger out because that will touch the other. And that is how we do this.
So now this back net terminal is all done and ready to go. And the very last thing is to do a wire test to make sure that there's nothing coming out. And that is a perfect connection.